Hello and welcome to the Orlovsky Consulting GBR. My name is Alexander Orlovsky. I am CEO of this company. And today I would like to present my company to you. So what my company is offering? We providing different types of IT consulting services, software development, quality assurance. We help our clients to understand their requirements. We create real and honest estimates and solution plans. We offering training and workshops in various IT technologies. And we provide even services in IT cybersecurity. So with us, you can be 100% sure that all your needs will be satisfied with us. We have different uh, IT consultants which have different IT skill set which would help you to get you solutions working and running and operating. So let's see example of our works. Here you can see screenshot from our work in Unity 3D because we have IT consultants with knowledge and skills about Unity 3D game engine. Then we have consultants and me too which have lots and lots experience in Java enterprise programming. And we have even a uh, skill set and I have two programming in C sharp WPF Microsoft technology. In this particular case, it was pretty interesting because me personally, I created this app, which allow people who actively looking for the job to stay productive and efficient. So they basically can with this app uh, manage all their job search activities. Very useful app and you can even find it basically on Windows Store. So this is one of the previous work. This is was done in Java FX. This was my initial first project, uh, which was like uh, first prototype and might try to understand how everything works with UI in Java. It's basically Java FX, very cool technology and can be used even today in 2024. So if you interested in our services, feel free and contact us via following websites. We'll be always happy to hearing from you. And basically, if even if you have an idea and you actually starting a uh, startup, you can reach us too. We working with different types of companies from smaller to biggest, and we always provide solutions. And uh, this result in very profitable partnerships. So thank you for what. So let's begin with this topic Unreal in practice. This video will be very interesting for the people who are in transition from Unity game dev to the Unreal game dev. Let's see the contents of this presentation. Here you have some topics which uh, I will present for today. And let's begin with the history. Historically speaking, the most old and battle tested game engine is Unreal, of course. It was created in 1995 by Epic Games and since then it used by many game companies which produce AA8 game titles. But what about Unity? Unity was launched, launched in 2005. It was actually uh, launched on the Mac OS operating system and intention was to make like uh, easy easy way to creating games on Mac environment. So it's quite quite funny transition because then after few days later they transition from the Mac OS to the Windows native game engine. And but they are kind of a newcomer. Can can be described as like that. What about special in, in Unreal? In Unreal you have predefined classes which you can use in in your game engine. I repeat, which you can use. It's not like obligation to use those classes, but you can use them. 
and more about you can find on the Epic Games website so company which actually develops Unreal Engine but I can actually add to those stuff following uh, you can understand those classes uh, and use those classes as um, some sort of a plugin in your game so it's not like your game logic is a part of unity uh, of, of unreal engine sorry but your classes use those other classes and this other classes represented in the unreal engine i will describe it later what i mean unreal ui user interface is a mess it's my subject subjective opinion but if you actually look up iso standards you would probably understand what i mean you unreal ui in my personal opinion does not support those iso standards for the ui maybe it is like kind of legacy issue because game engine unreal was developed in 1995 but i will explain it even more for example if you compare how the panel on the left organized with the panel on the right you can clearly see that the panel on the right have more sense because every entry is uh, in the hidden uh, i will say hidden uh, menu option but the stuff on the left uh, it is not uh, grouped well it's just take uh, place and then you need to look up the description of each of the icons provided and then look up entries which consist with the, this description but it's kind of confusing for the people who transition from unity okay what about uh, compilation in the programming itself uh, it is immediately occurring when you start your unreal project and, and if you use uh, custom C++ classes you need to compile them it's obvious but you need to make to, you need to uh, to be aware about that your game engine and the environment development environment developer I mean Visual Studio are two separate tools which have own building pipelines and and what is most uh, painful about that unreal engine use some parts of a visual studio and if unreal engine says i cannot use the latest uh, visual studio compiler you build is breaking so i was able to downgrade my co my compiler in visual studio and as a result my unreal engine then can build the code misalignment is really a pain in unreal and you should be aware of it because you're coming from quite different uh, game dev experience when you use unity and as i said earlier you need to decide early on that you will use unreal engine as a some sort of a plugin so you should you make 100 percent uh, you should create following that you should make sure that all of your game logic f classes are not part of a unreal engine i repeat it again not part of a unreal engine you create kind of proxies or adapter classes and that actually used by the unreal it i think this is probably the best approach but i will explain it later what i mean by that okay now then we have things like inputs your keyboard your mouse of course you can set it up in your project settings in your unreal project but it doesn't feel uh, like a really good solution for me for example i would like to have it programmatically done so if you have smaller very small project maybe you should define your shortcuts in the project settings and that's it if you don't think that the player should change where is up where is left where is right things like that but 
you should know about that that you can actually change stuff in your project settings make be please be aware about it and, and then always consider that unreal is not is not the same experience like unity unreal allow some calling and functions in such a way which it was not intended or without strict context so you can produce some uh, hard to read hard to maintain uh, c++ code uh, together with the unreal api methods so it it it, it, it is hard to distinguish what is a really quality unreal uh, source code because in my opinion uh, the best approach to have separation of concerns between your uh, game project between your game logic and the game engine itself it should be kind of have very manageable but very um, clear points of uh, contact if you make a mess if you put your code into the unreal engine you expose yourself on some sort of unexpected behaviors of the unreal engine maybe i am over like over express stuff but i i think the best approach to have a really clear separation of concerns and i will explain it later but it is really important to understand that the api calls method calls from the unreal engine is not your game it is accessible but it, it is not your game it, it is actually not your responsibility what you should be able to do you should be able to write your c++ game logic classes and then find a way to load them in most safest way in your unreal game engine okay let's proceed uh, uh, I would like to s to tell you how to package your Unreal project. It's definitely another hurdle. Even if you have compilable working Unreal project, at some point you need to to make sure to to build a prototype to expose it in the world to 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 show your game prototype to the world. It is important, and basically. It is possible, but you uh, once again need to adjust project settings in your Unreal project. And if you do it right, nothing will break. In my experience, I had spent some quality time to figure it out why my particular project did not compile as a packaged result project for the distribution. But I was able to do that anyways you have the link to another youtube video where you can watch how to set up your project settings for the distribution in windows and once again i spoke about for the whole time about clear separation of concerns i think the way how unreal uh, works it is kind of uh, I don't want to say a breakage, but it is a challenge to the so-called solid principle. Solid principle is very well known principle in the programmer's world, not only in game development world, but it is really important to consider those principles like single responsibility, open close principle, risk of substitution principle, interface segregation principle, dependency inversion principle. I don't want to go in depth with a description of those principles. It's not the topic of this presentation, but if you are working with Unreal, you should be aware of those uh, terms. Uh, basically, only one thing which I have spoke about the whole time is single responsibility. There should be never more than one reason for a class to change. And open close principle should be open for extension but close for modification 
that can be used too in your Unreal project. Okay, what about testing? Uh, it is C++ project after all. Uh, you can use, uh, if you are using Visual Studio in, in, in Windows environment, you can use things like uh, CPP unit test with uh, MS test asserts. It, and it, it, it is really works. But I need to distinguish what I mean by unit tests because people say you mean testing actual Unreal game objects. Not entirely, not necessary. Uh, I'm interested when I work in, in such projects, I int I'm interested in the behavior and the result of the behavior of the game objects. This behavior is not implemented as a game object. It is loaded into the game object. That's probably describe even better what I mean. So the test should be built upon the exchange. The exchange happens like, for example, actors. But the exchange itself are separate C++ classes. They are not part of the Unreal Engine project. I mean, they are loaded into the Unreal Game Engine project. This is probably better. But for example, if you have game object A, it has interaction with game object B, the results should be in storage of item B. This should be tested not in the Unreal Engine, but uh, outside of the Unreal Engine. This is actually a good point. So you write your test to, to make sure that your classes with your game logic testable outside of your Unreal Unreal Game Engine. I repeat again, you write unit test to be testable outside of your Unreal project. Why? Because if you go back, once again, uh, solid principles. Some people say, but what, what if I want to test stuff in Unreal Engine itself? It, it is possible, but you need to understand how much time it would you it would cost you to to make a really good maintainable test which runs in your game engine. I, I, I think at some point it's kind of fashion of value how how much you want to spend in doing that because if you have clean separation of concerns and you know that your game logic works you load the behavior into unreal objects i mean classes instantiate objects but if you load your custom ga business game logic then it is possible to not test the actual exchange in the unreal engine and be make be sure that your game still still works pretty fine but you need to make sure that your game logic is not uh, the better word for this would be like hostage you should your game logic should not be a hostage of your game engine project i hope it would make sense for you but still in the summary as as you hear me i'm kind of struggling even after all my experience, Unreal is not for newbies, definitely not. You must be already a developer or somebody who is familiar with game programming. Documentation in Unreal is good, but it's sometimes better to ask uh, AI, artificial intelligence, to what I'm doing wrong. Okay, if you're just learning Unreal and you don't know C++, it is possible to do projects in Unreal, but then you have only one option. It's like doing only blueprint visual scripting, and that's it. That's probably better. I mean, I, I know C++. I, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of background in C++ too, even if, if I 
consider myself more C sharp or uh, Java developer, but still, you have options, and the really one million question is: Is Unreal actually better than the Unity? Well, <coughs> I can s only say it depends, because if you are used to Unity, and you definitely handle all the Unity tricks, you can great, you can create great Unity projects. Def definitely, I, I don't, I want to going to argue about that but if you know all ins and outs in the unreal game engine it's really powerful engine uh, you can extend it you can do additional stuff which is not presented in the game engine ui you can create probably own ui widgets which would allow some sort of a customizable solution it is possible but is it really uh, Efficient? I'm not sure. Okay. And anyone who did watch to this point probably said to me, Ah, you're a consultant, you don't have much experience. I tell them, okay, watch me. You have here uh, a demo Unreal project, which I assembled. Why I mean assembled? I participated in the workshop where Unreal Engine was presented with the source code. The source code is not owned by me or my company, so I must to like to use only executable. But still it is project where I participated, I saw the code, I understood how it works. I built this uh, with my own hands, so to speak. And it took uh, two to three days to make it straight, uh, like it was straight work to make it run. So let me quickly present this project. Okay, let's see. Okay, the game is started. It's Unreal game and hopefully I can win the game. Okay, why I have lost? I need to catch three balls to, to win the game, but still I build the game. The game have uh, objects in itself and I can use a cursor to move the stuff. So that's what I wanted to show you. And basically, this is it. If you are interested in working with my company or like say I have great idea, I want to use Unreal or Unity Engine, you can contact me via those sites and feel free to express your ideas. Feedback is welcomed. Thank you for watching. I wish you all the best.